morning, guys. Morning, everybody. Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com and TrierWildernessAcademy.com. Welcome to my kitchen once again. I am scurrying a little bit this morning. I will be the first to admit that. I have a very full and busy day ahead of me, but I wanted to jump on here and share some things with you guys. I am making my breakfast right now. I'm doing a uh, series on this also, so you'll see more on this, but um, I make my own bone broth and I uh, can my own bone broth, but I am out of my own bone broth. And finding good bones can be uh, difficult in my area. Um, I want good organic grass-fed, non-GMO fed, non -GMO fed um, bones. And it's hard to find unless I, you know, you know what they're eating and where they've come from. So my bone supply is about an hour, hour and a half away from here. And I just don't have time to go up there. Um, so I am turning to... Oh So Good Bones, and it's actually a bone broth, it's Whole30 approved, it's gluten free, it's paleo friendly, it's antibiotic free, and um, it is <laughs> amazing. They also have, good morning Mike, they also have a uh, autoimmune protocol bone broth as well, which is what I am utilizing, and that is huge for me. I am doing a seven day bone broth um, fast. And that is just an amazing way to clean your system, heal your system. Good morning, Tammy. And being able to heal our bodies and giving ourselves a chance to heal is so important. Um, one of the things that I've struggled with over the last two years is that my body is working so hard to get rid of all this garbage that's in it that it has to... Um, work twice as hard because it's still digesting food and it's still working its normal pace but it's got to keep up with all this garbage that I'm kicking out of my muscles and out of my fat and so I'm being kind to my body today and these last seven days and I've been uh, doing a uh, liquid diet and bone broth is so nutritional and it's so important good morning Kathy I am adding coconut oil, organic coconut oil, to my bone broth. Um, these are the good fats for my paleo diet, and um, people always freak out about putting fats in our food. It's going to make us fat, but it's a lie. It's actually the opposite, guys. If you are utilizing good fats, it's helping your body to run smoothly. It's helping your body um, to have the right nutrients. So it's really important that you know that. I'm also adding ghee, G-H-E-E, -E. and this also is an extremely amazing addition to my bone broth. I add this to my golden milk that I make sometimes, and I'll expand more on that um, another time. We're going to continue on um, with my diet and with nutrition probably every, every live video because it's just something I focus on. Another thing that I've been adding to my uh, breakfast and supper is um, an avocado. After I heat it up, I add an avocado and then blend it, and it makes it like... When I was a kid, we used to eat a lot of cup of soup, and the creamy chicken cup of soup was always one of my favorites. Well, that's what this tastes like, except it's healthy for you, and it's real food. <laughs> so it's amazing what we ate as kids. Anybody remember Spam? That was like an, a big part of our diet, and that stuff is so unhealthy, so unhealthy. Yeah, it tasted good, but it's unhealthy. I couldn't eat it now. I just couldn't even, I can't even look at it. Just the thought of it makes me squeamish. But anyway, I'm, I'm heating that up right now. I'm going to, I'll show it to you then. But I wanted to talk about good nutrition, and if you are having health problems, by doing a bone broth diet, you are enabling your body, especially your guts. Your, your health starts in your guts. And most of us have candida, parasites, um, irritable bowel syndrome, those, all these things. Um, I, oh, the other one just left me. Crohn's disease. Um, but uh, all of our illnesses start because of bad gut flora and because of a bad gut. When you do something like a seven-day bone broth diet, you are 
enabling your body to rebuild the good bacteria and kick out the bad bacteria, which is so important. And our food is so toxic today. You know, our body fights so hard to get rid of the garbage in our atmosphere that's coming into our bodies as well as um, what we're putting in it, not to mention what we're putting on it. All those things play such a role. And until you get a full picture of that, you're probably going to have aches and pains, you're not going to sleep well, and you're going to have brain fog, and you're not going to feel good a lot of the time, not to mention what you're allowing your body to create and manifest for later in your life, which is something I'm going to lead into in a little bit. But, you know, when we continuously feed it and put things that are bad on our bodies and breathe in all the chemicals from the chemical cleaners and everything, we're enabling our body to manifest illnesses. So when we're in our prime, where we should be our healthiest, we're our sickest. And um, I've really had eye openers, but sometimes that's what it takes for us to really pay attention. Now, I was already paying attention and I was already eating healthy. Now, I'm really limited on what I can eat, but I devote myself to my healing and to, to, uh, being good to my body. If I'm in a situation where the only option is trashy food, I just won't eat. I'll drink some water and call it good because it's, it's not good for me and it will really harm me. Good morning, Chad. So I just want you to think about these things. Good nutrition is really important. I eat coconut oil by the spoonful. It is so good for your system. It's so good um, to get rid of candida and help in a detoxing way that it helps detox your body. And um, I'm, I'm on that journey. I'm feeling better. Thank the Lord things are drying out. I am really starting to feel healthy. Yesterday, I had one massive project on my hands, but I can't share that with you until next week. <laughs> I'm teasing. Next week, I have something extremely radical, wild, and amazing to share with you. So make sure you join me next week because it's, it's, it's wild, and I want to take you guys along for the ride. Um, I have a really full day, so I'm not going to be able to be on here long. But one thing I didn't want to forget to ask you is, are you watching the Modern Homesteading Summit? Are you paying attention to the free training that's available this week? Mine will be on Saturday. And you'll be able to find me in a live chat at 6 p.m., I think. I'm not going to quote that. Um, you'll get emails and information on that. But my, my, my class on things to consider before you go off grid uh, will be on Saturday. If you haven't signed up for the free trainings that are available, you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash homesteading summit. The link is down below. And you can get details on that and sign up and not miss out on these free trainings. There have been some great permaculture and vertical gardening, um, some amazing recipes shared by my friend Chris uh, Bordessa over in Hawaii. And there's a lot of great materials being shared. These are people I work with and that, that I treasure, and they are so extremely knowledgeable. So please be sure to go check it out. Good morning, Zach. Now... I have something else I want to share with you. Just something, a seed to plant, something to think about. Today's society is ingrained to, that, that, so that everybody follows the same pattern. And we're all, we're all seeking the almighty dollar. Our focus is on the money. So, we go to school. A uh, majority of our parents want us to go to college. I am totally not against college. Thanks for your time and information. Most of us don't hear this unless we seek it out. Awesome. Well, Ben, I'm really glad. I'm glad to hear that because that's why I do what I do. So, awesome. Um, and, and I am totally for college. I went to uh, two separate colleges, taking uh, separate courses, different courses for uh, my programming education. Um, but what I see happen and um, what is the norm is that kids are pushed out of high school into a college setting where they don't know what they want. like what I have to share because it just started spinning on me. But they go to college and they don't know what they want to do. 
they change their major multiple times lots of money is invested my thoughts are why don't you get out in the real world work a little bit maybe figure out what you want to do and then go to college so that what you're spending your money on is something that you're going to utilize because there's so many kids that go to school and people that go to school they come out and they get a job in another field and never use what they utilized in college or what they learned in college now additionally so you got all that money vested then you get into a job and you're working a job and you're trying to make ends meet and you're living in an apartment or buy a home and you're constantly chasing the dollar the goal the mindset is we're gonna invest all our money save up so that when we retire we can live our dream okay now when you really pay attention and look at the world and look at what is happening people retire they either don't have the energy don't have the desire or they are ill and they do not ever get to live their dream that's sad living a life of regret is is such an awful thing and I'm grateful to say that I don't have many there are very few regrets I have and I won't ever have a regret again because I'm living with my dream first and we embrace this dream and went against the grain many people thought we were nuts many people didn't approve many people said we we shouldn't be doing this and wanted us to do other things and you know what we're not living for them and I've talked about this before we need to live for ourselves we need to be willing to step out of that box that society has created and be willing to embrace our dreams and live our dreams now get don't get me wrong money is important money is very important I like money you like money we need money and and you're not gonna hear me say that money is the root of all evil because you know I'm a Christian but I don't I don't believe that I believe that we can have a love for money in a healthy way a love for money in that it helps us to reach our dreams that it helps us to gift others my dream would be to have lots of money and live simply just the way I am and use that money to help other people and not in other countries necessarily there's so many people in the United States that need help money can be a really healthy thing earning money can be a really healthy thing being self-employed and and receiving money a lot of people fear that and and don't like taking money for the services or the things that they do and you know we're offering a service and and it's no different than the taxi driver you get paid for your service so people have such a weird view of money and that's why the statement money is the root of all evil it's not money it's people's mindset on money so my thoughts are that when we focus on our dream and our life that we want to live while we're living with intention you guys have heard me saying this all year that we are building upon our dream that we are getting the money we need to live the life and live the dream instead of getting the money and then hoping when we get to retirement that we're able to embrace and live that dream my cousin just died yesterday he turned 60 on May 30th and he died of a massive heart attack and he is a perfect example of people that are striving and striving and we know so many other people that have retired and a week later they die in their recliner guys we aren't given our next breath we are not guaranteed our next breath so my next breath you know we could die in a second and so could your loved ones so when you're living life frustrated and chasing that almighty dollar and chasing it to build up to a point where you can be happy and live your dream you could be happy and living your dream you get my point I'm I hope this is making sense I wanted to plant this seed because you know 
we're there's so many people that are afraid to walk out of that box and to live and to do the wild and crazy things that their heart desires. God has given us each unique gifts. And sometimes those gifts aren't what other people, our parents, our relatives, our spouses, feel are something valid. But maybe those nudges that you're feeling toward those particular gifts shouldn't be denied. That those could be the things that open the door to an amazing life. An amazing life. And don't get me wrong, life has its ups and downs. You've seen it through our walk and I know you experience it because we're living the same life. None of us are um, promised a, a perfect life. So I want you to think about that and just kind of evaluate your situation. Which way are you living and which way do you really want to live? And next week we're going to talk more about that because like I said, I have this wild and crazy thing I'm going to share with you and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, I'm going to say this, it was wild, a wild and scary and very overwhelming weekend. Um, we've made some decisions and that's what we're going to share with you next week and um, we're going to take you along for the ride. Um, now that the weekend's over and we are starting to embrace it, um, overwhelm has been replaced with extreme excitement and, um, and that's, that's, that's part of taking a huge leap of faith and we've already done that. We've already experienced that. We know what it's like. Um, thanks Chad. My cousin was an amazing guy and I, I love him dearly. I am very blessed with a good family. So thank you, Chad. But taking leaps of faith you know, you step off the top of the ladder and there's nowhere to go. Or you step off and into the abyss and there's no stairs. And, and you're free falling. It's scary. But you have to believe and understand and know that that is what faith is. And faith is knowing that when you take that huge, huge step to get out of the box that God is going to meet you on that journey. So your parachute may not open at the top, and your parachute may not open in the middle, but your parachute's going to open. And, and God will see it, that that happens. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. And He's always there. And His plan is going to always be bigger and better than ours. And something else I want to point out is that when you take these huge steps, we jumped off that ladder coming out here. Hands down, it was the most exciting thing of my life. That simplicity that we lived for eight and a half months was the most amazing time of my life. And I'm ready to go back there. And one of the things that we did and made sure that we did was that we listened for that still, small voice so that we weren't off adventuring and not following on the right path. That's important. That will make a huge difference in your travels, in your journey, in your events and ventures stepping out of the box. Guys, I want to encourage you to live life recklessly. That sounds scary and that sounds like um, something our parents would have warned us against. But there's something so great and amazing and grand in living that way. It's a safe reckless, you know. Um, you're not doing anything illegal. You're just um, embracing your dreams and following your heart and following God's leading when he continues to implant those thoughts in your mind about doing whatever it may be. Ours was to embrace this lifestyle. And guys... I will never go back. Living off the grid has been the most amazing thing we've ever done. And um, the next phase of our lives is going to be even more amazing and more simple. So those are my thoughts for you today. Hopefully I wasn't rattling on endlessly and hopefully um, maybe I lit a fire or started a spark or something. Um, 
But join me next week. Please take the time to join me next week, 1030 Pacific Standard Time on Facebook Live. Um, or watch the replay on Facebook Live as well as on YouTube. Uh, we have some really awesome and amazing news to share with you guys. So focus on your nutrition and be healthy and focus on living your dreams. So guys, I've got a roll. I'm going to say a quick prayer for you guys and then I'm going to head out. So dear Jesus, I just thank you for these people that have taken the time out of their busy schedules to join me. And Lord, just thank you for blessing me with the words. Um, as you always do, just guide and direct our audience. Be with them. Many are sick and struggling and maybe in similar positions as we are. Lord, I just ask that you wrap your loving arms around them, strengthen them, and help them on their journey. And, and just let them feel your presence. And Lord, may they lean on you as we do for our strength. And Lord, I just ask that you give them all a blessed day and just keep your hands of safety on them. Lord, I ask this in your holy and precious name. Amen. Okay, guys. Enjoy your week. Good morning, Kimberly. Uh, you'll have to watch. I'm getting ready to jump off of here. But thanks for chiming in and joining me. Guys, I wish you a really great rest of your week. I, I wish you... Um, the courage to embrace your dreams, be strong, and, and have the courage to step out of the box and be different. Okay? I'll see you next week. Please join me. Great things to ship with you.